Hey girl, are your healthy habits all over the place or non-existent? Do you wish you could find true food freedom, move your body for joy, and really just talk a little nicer to yourself? If you have tried to have it hack your health, but the strategies you've tried just haven't worked for you in your busy lifestyle, then this podcast is for you. Hey, I'm Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach, behavior change specialist, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I'm here to tell you there is an easier way than what we've been taught about our health and our habits. How do I know? Well, because I've transformed my own life through habit hacking and now my family gets the best of me and I now help my clients do the same. I'm now going to teach you how to create healthy habits and less time guilt-free for all seasons of your life. It's not your fault your habits haven't worked, my friend. We just have to do them differently. So are you ready to feel empowered and transform your habits and life? Then let's do this. You're listening to episode 210 of Self Transformed. Hey friend, welcome back to the show. I hope your summer is going well. It's officially July. We're like in the heat of summer here in Indiana, especially, um, at least for the time being. You know, it's the Midwest. You stick around, you might get a a little bit of every season within one week sometimes. But anyways, it's for the July week. You know, we always have a big pool party here at the house. You know, there's fireworks, the parade. It's kind of tricky this month or this year since 4th of July is in the middle of the week, but I hope you are celebrating and getting some time to gather with family and friends and having some time off of work. Now, today we are talking about 10 tips to help you stay on track with your healthy habits on vacation. I know a lot of you are traveling throughout this summer, and this is a big topic of conversation for the folks that I coach inside of each of our accelerators because they're establishing some healthy habits, they're feeling good, they're starting to stick with it, and now they're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting ready to go on vacation. I'm really freaking nervous. Like, I'm afraid it's just going to totally throw a wrench in the whole deal and I'm going to have to start all over again. Okay. Okay. Let's take a big deep breath together. Breathe in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Okay. It's going to be okay. It is going to be okay. All right. Story time. We're going to dig into 10 tips to help you stay on track with your healthy habits on vacation. But first, I want to share a little story with you, okay? I want to know if if you relate to this. So back in 2015, my husband and I did a Whole30 for the first time. This really gave us some momentum, made me feel empowered into leading into what food freedom really meant for me, right? The Whole30 is not meant for everybody. I know we've been talking a lot about dieting lately for me. In all honesty, I went into it with a lens of diet culture to lose weight. And I did lose weight. I lost 10 pounds, but that is not the um, nature of Whole30. It's really to evaluate your habits and relationship around food, notice any food sensitivities. And I did learn a lot about myself. But it was over time and finding my true food freedom afterwards that I was really able to totally lose that diet culture mentality. But in all honesty, I was doing the whole 30 to lose weight leading up to vacation, okay? And when I got on vacation, I was like waist deep in margaritas, face first into pizza and all the fish tacos like ever. I gained most of the weight back, most of that was bloat. And the time I was there, I felt like crap from the amount of sugar I was intaking. I just went from one extreme to the other, like extreme, extreme to extreme, extreme, okay? And I didn't go into that vacation with why my healthy habits make me feel good and how I can do that on vacation in a simple way, not fueled by diet culture. Now, when you go on vacation, your healthy habits, they are not gonna be 100%. You are off schedule, you are eating foods you normally don't eat. It's about rest and relaxation, taking a break. However, staying on track with your healthy habits in some form on vacation will help you not feel that guilt when you come home from vacation and then you crash diet again. Because that is exactly what I used to do. I would restrict, go crazy on vacation, and then try to like make up for my mistakes after 
my vacation. And that's not fun. That's not sustainable. That's not good for your metabolism over time either. So let's talk about 10 habits to help you stay on track during your vacation. At the end, of course, we will have it hack this together and I'll provide you a couple of habit loop examples, okay? So let's get in, into it. 10 tips to help you stay on track with your healthy habits on vacation. Okay, I know you've felt this way before too. You start a new healthy habit routine and you find a good flow, but then life gets in the way and you find yourself in a new season of life and that healthy habit routine isn't working now. Uh, instead of just giving up, come take my free masterclass, The Healthy Habit Reset. You will learn the simple five-step habit change method I only share in the masterclass where I take the overwhelm and confusion out of health and teach you how to reset your habits whatever season of life you are in. Okay, and I know what you're thinking. How long is this going to take? I know your time is precious, so the masterclass is broken up into three 15 to 20 minute modules you can seriously watch while you're just folding your laundry. It includes a workbook to help you take action so it won't take up a ton of your time. Check it out for free and let me know what you think at bit.ly slash free reset masterclass. I'll see you inside of the reset. Okie dokie, let's get back to the show. Number one, plan ahead. So research your destination to find healthy food options and activities available. So look for restaurants that offer nutritious choices. For me, that is always, we, we, we love going to the beach. Like my idea of a vacation is getting my little beach chair, getting all settled in in the sand and like looking at the ocean all day. And I get up sometimes, <laughs> like that is my idea of vacation. So plan ahead, you know, see what the restaurants you're gonna be going to, see if there's fun like activities you can do. Maybe it's like you rent some bicycles, maybe you are just swimming, whatever, but plan ahead, okay? Have some type of plan in your mind. Number two, pack healthy snacks. Like y'all know, you're packing all the snacks for you and your kids. So bring along some nutritious snacks like fruit, nuts, granola bars to avoid solely relying on unhealthy options while traveling. Like, you know, we kind of have this rule if we stop at a gas, sta gas station, like I'm gonna get candy with my kids. I love having candy and a long card ride with my kids, but I will eat like all the candy because that's just how I am with candy and sugar in the car. I'm like, I gotta eat it before I get all, all the way there. But if you already have planned ahead, like for me, that usually involves um, RX or Cliff Bars, that involves chomp sticks, that involves dry food, fruit that involves um, a little applesauce packets, things that I know are going to help me feel um, satiated versus like doo-doo. Number three, stay hydrated. Oh, this is a big one for a couple of reasons. So drink plenty of water throughout the day, especially if you're in hot climates or like during physical activities. Like if you're like walking around Washington, D.C., you know, that's an active vacation. You need like a vacation from that type of vacation, but drink lots of water. Carry a refillable water bottle to ensure you have access to water with you at all times. Now, usually on vacations, you're, a lot of times we have alcohol. I love a margarita on the beach. Ooh, give me some chips and guac with it. I am living my best life. My rule of thumb is I'll drink, have a margarita, have a bottle of water, have a margarita, have a bottle of water, have a couple sips of Marg, have a couple sips of my water. Like I'm too fisting at water and a drink because it just makes me feel better with all the sugar and the alcohol and I don't feel like, like buzzed and I don't feel like doo-doo later. So stay hydrated. Plus you feel bloated a lot of times during vacations, right? Because you're eating a lot of foods you maybe don't normally eat. You're not gaining weight, it's just bloat. So drink a lot of water to help flush that out. Number four, keep portion control in mind, okay? Portion control. So if you're going to go like to this really special restaurant, having like this really unique dish you can only get in this certain area that you are in, slow down, think about your portions. We kind of go over portion sizes inside the Food Freedom Habits Accelerator, but take it slowly, enjoy it, savor it, so you don't find yourself like stuffing your face and overeating. I've done it time and time again. They bring the food out and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this looks so good. And you eat, 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 then you just feel like crap, okay? So think about your portions and slow down. Number five, be active, walk. 
Walk, walk, walk. Look for opportunities to include physical activity into your vacation. Can you, like I said, rent bikes? We love paddle boarding. Ugh, it's so good for your quads and your core strength. It's so, so good. So be active be active. My rule of thumb is like if I'm sitting on the beach, as you can tell, my favorite vacation is sitting my butt in a beach chair on the beach with a marg looking at the ocean. I will always get up and go take a couple of walks during the time I am there as well. Find balance. That's number six. So it's okay to enjoy special treats and indulge in like an ice cream cone. Oh, I love a waffle cone on, on like an evening after laying out on the beach all day. But try to balance it with healthier choices. So for example, have a small dessert after a healthy meal, right? So like you're not having like the foods that you know maybe don't make you feel as great, but you're having a healthy meal and you're pairing that with a dessert. Stay consistent is number seven. So stay consistent. So if you've established some exercise or meditation routines, try to maintain them on, while they're on vacation. Like we usually split like a big condo with my in-laws or my parents and they know, oh, Emily's got her ruck vest with her. Emily has her free weights with her. I am planning on moving my body. It may not be in the way that I would at home, but I am moving my body because I know how awesome. It makes me feel. And it's going to help me stay grounded and continue with my healthy habits. You know, I'm listening to podcasts while I'm getting ready. While I'm walking, I'm listening to music that's pumping me up. I'm doing a lot of the same habits I do at home, but I'm just bringing them on vacation with me. Number eight, get enough sleep. Ugh. Restful sleep is so important for your overall well-being. We could talk about this over and over again, but make sure you're getting enough sleep each night to help maintain your energy levels each day while you're on vacation. I know sometimes sleeping can be an issue on vacation because you're off routine, so make sure you're just prioritizing sleep as well. Number nine, okay, stay off the scale. Stay off the scale. This is during vacation, like if there's a scale in your room and if there is, like hide it. Like whoever puts a scale in a room, like that's ridiculous. I stayed in a hotel years ago and they had a scale in the bathroom and I was so irritated. Like why, why? Stay off the scale because bloat is gonna happen. It will happen. You're gonna be inflamed. You're gonna maybe gain a couple of pounds and then from there you're gonna be worried about what you're eating the rest of the time on your vacation. This is about rest and relaxation, not stressing out about what you're eating and how you're moving your body. Make it natural, find that balance for yourself. So don't you dare step on that scale. And I would maybe even, you know, think about after, wait a week after you get home to step on the scale as well. Trust me, trust me, it's for your own it's for your own good. It's for your own mental health. And then lastly, number 10, make your plan for when you get home. Your plan is not to crash diet. Your plan is to not work out every single day for like an hour and a half to hopefully burn off any weight you gained on vacation. Just pick up where you left off right? You had some healthy habits, some habit loops in play that maybe you've learned inside of one of the accelerators. Just pick up where you left off, right? Pick up where you left off. You're kind of almost thinking of your vacation. You're doing a little bit of something and that's better than nothing. So that's able to help you maintain your healthy habits. And lastly, I have a bonus tip for you and that is to give yourself grace. This is the last step of the habit hacking system I teach inside of each of the accelerators. You know, having a backup plan and giving yourself grace. That is the last step. A vacation isn't going to derail your results forever. It may just derail you for like a day or two. It shouldn't even like derail you. You're just kind of going on a different route or you're slowing down a little bit, right? The train's not totally off the tracks and like laying over and not, not fixable. Remember, vacations are meant for relaxation, enjoyment, memories. So don't be too hard on yourself. It's okay to indulge in something that you don't normally have because it's part of the experience and it's worth it to you maintaining a balance and just really making conscious choices will help you stay on track so we're not doing one extreme to another right you can find any of the you can find the system inside any of our accelerators you know the habit hacking system that i teach the last step is grace and capacity habits but if you need some help setting some healthy habits up for yourself either for your food freedom movement or mindset I got you, girl. These are my signature mini courses. You can grab either one of them or bundle all three together. So, of course, I promised you a habit loop. Let's do it. So, 
So for example, you already have a habit loop at home and maybe you are using a Q routine reward, right? This is what we teach inside all the accelerators. There's over 60 total amongst all three. I love all these different habit loops. I refer to them quite often myself. So you have a Q routine reward maybe for your workouts at home. So let's think about how we can do a new habit loop for movement while you're on vacation. And this is my favorite because this is something I like to do on vacation. So the cue is wake up, okay? You wake up and it doesn't have to be a specific time. I know I do not set an alarm on vacation, no way. The routine is you walk to get coffee. Maybe there's a coffee shop down the road and it's safe to go take a stroll and walk to the coffee shop, get your coffee, go with a friend, and then walk back with your coffee. Ugh. Doesn't that sound like lovely just thinking about it? And the reward is that movement and that joy of getting a cup of coffee with a friend or a family member and the caffeine, right? You're set for the day. You already got your movement and you have some connection time. You got that coffee. You are ready to take on whatever this vacation has for you that day. It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. You are in the driver's seat. I'm providing you the systems. You can make your healthy habits work for you on vacation. It doesn't have to be one extreme or the other before, during, or after your vacation. It just has to be sustainable because remember, we are training for life and life comes and goes in different seasons and there's going to be times you're on vacation and you are going to be like me sit your booty on that beach chair enjoy your margarita get up and walk and move your body and have that waffle cone at night and leave with no regrets i hope today was useful for you let me know if you are going to utilize some of these strategies we talked about if you're going on vacation this summer or any time of the year. And if you need some help habit hacking your own movement mindset or food freedom habits, come grab one of the accelerators, my friend. All right, sending you a big virtual hug. Safe travels this summer. I will see you this Thursday for Habit Hack Thursday. Hey girl, real quick before you go, did you know I have a secret podcast where I talk all about why most habit strategies don't work for us women? Spoiler alert, it's not our fault. (laughs) Visit bit.ly slash atomic habits for women. It's linked in the show notes to access my secret podcast series and have your biggest aha moment about why and how women have to do habits differently. And if you love the podcast, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way more mamas can find the show. Love and appreciate you, friend. We'll see you next time.